All right, hopefully this thing's working. All right, awesome. All right, so a uh, little bit of a different venue for lightning talks this year versus the summit last year. Um, they were they were really fun last year on top of the big uh, on top of the big stage. Uh, a little bit of a smaller room this time, but awesome nonetheless. Uh, I did want to lead in with one little kind of funny joke comment. So I have a number of slides here that are created by my marketing team, and a number of slides that I've created myself. So anybody who comes to our booth through the remainder of the show and attempts to guess which slides were created by me and which slides were created by my marketing team is going to get an extra spin on our prize wheel. So uh, just going to uh, kind of go through things here. All right, is my thing on and it's off? Great, awesome. Cool. All right, so I want to want to lead with a nice little pithy observation like I did last year. Um, so traditional monitoring is dead. All right, so let's talk a little bit about why traditional monitoring is dead. Um, this is my favorite slide in the entire world, in the entire ecosystem of Dynatrace slides, uh, because I'm a big fan of Alien. Um, but as you can see here, so we, we have this statistic that we got from Gartner, um, and Gartner told us that most organizations are only using APM solutions on about 5% of the apps in their business. Um, and as we move towards uh, you know, newfangled cloud-native architectures and, and cloud-native platforms like Cloud Foundry, you know, we start to get environments with uh, tens of thousands of processes across thousands of services. And if we're only instrumenting and only monitoring 5% of those applications, um, as you can tell, that, that's going to present a pretty significant um, black box for your organization. All right? So one of the things that Dynatrace found was, you know, there must be a better way, right? So we came up with a automated full stack monitoring solution um, where we're really intending to uh, ease the rollout of monitoring agents to the entirety of the platform. And we're looking to make APM something that is available for each and every app instance that's running in your environment, all right? Something that you don't have to think about, it's always there, and, and you never have to worry about turning it on because it's always listening for every single app instance in the environment. In addition, we're also gonna be looking at all of the Cloud Foundry components in the environment as well. So let's talk a little bit of a, a little visualization here on, on what it is that you were trying to do. Um, these little guys there with, uh, with the ties and our sunglasses are our agents. Those are our secret agents. And the goal here is to get these agents onto every host uh, in the environment, every VM that's being managed by Bosch. And then additionally, we want to get our agent into every process uh, that's running inside of a Diego cell. So we also want to get inside of every single application that you CF pushed into the environment. So how do we do that? Well, now we've got this cool thing that we're using to manage our Cloud Foundry environment. So we're using this to manage our runtime, and that's Bosch. So with three simple steps, we're able to distribute our agent to every VM that's inside of your Cloud Foundry deployment um, and immediately begin instrumenting everything that's happening in that environment. All right, so it's a, it's a simple process of you know, fetching that release from, from our environment, uploading it to your Bosch director, editing that runtime config or merging it with your existing runtime config and simply executing a, a, a Bosch deploy. So I'm going to use the next minute or two here to um, kind of talk about some of the platform level visibility uh, that's exposed by this functionality uh, and, and how it impacted us when we were troubleshooting one of our internal Cloud Foundry environments. So when we were going through and, and, and testing the add-on in one of our own clusters that uh, happened to be deployed on, shall we say, suboptimal hardware uh, running under somebody's desk, <laughs> um, we uncovered an issue with our cloud controller. And by digging into the processes on that host, uh, we found that the cloud controller was scooping up a lot of CPU. And then by utilizing our tool set to, to take a look at the logs for that process, we found that there were log messages related to uh, the MySQL server uh, going away. All right? 
So with one tool, you're able to have access to uh, all of the uh, metrics and things like that surrounding those system processes, as well as the ability to, to drill into those logs for that process and, and perhaps assist in your troubleshooting. And those that might have seen uh, some of the other demos that we've done and things like that, you know, there's an AI uh, that sits on top of this uh, that is actually alerting um, when you're exceeding some norms for, uh, for many different things, and it's doing automated root cause analysis across the whole thing. All right, so I've only, I'm actually about 14 seconds over. So how do you get access to this? Um, you can sign up for a free trial at www.donatrace.com slash trial. You can grab the Bosch release from PivNet. Uh, we just went live on, on PivNet on Friday. Um, or you can fetch that from our uh, GitHub repo. And then once again, those three steps there are available at the bottom. And uh, usually within about, meh, five to 15 minutes, everything will be up and, and lit up, uh, literally just as long as it takes Bosch to, to execute that deployment. All right, thank you.